Hey everybody, it's Gamerock and we're back with Skies of Arcadia Legends. Last time we managed to make our way through Grand Fortress and uh, the Prince, Enrique, ended up saving us and even gave us his flagship to use. So now we're going to use it to bust through the front door. And um, I know I want to use this S cannon, the Moonstone cannon, on the second turn. So I just I'm just gonna focus the whole whole turn. <laughs> I think that's pretty much all we have to do, actually. Thanks to Gilder and his exploding cannon trick, we should be able to just blast through that little weak spot there. Hopefully. <laughs> I can't believe how ridiculously powerful this ship looks. <laughs> it looks like it came straight out of Star Wars. Oh my god. Oh, 8,000 damage. That is not a wall you want to mess with. I mean, you really get a, <laughs> an idea of the scale of that wall just looking at this ship compared to it. I mean, this ship is pretty, pretty freaking big. And it looks like a little mosquito compared to that thing. Oh my god. As you can tell already, this thing has a lot more health. I mean, we got hit by, what, 18, 19,000 damage? We still have 25,000 to go? Yeah. That's pretty nuts. Alright, so pretty much that's all we have to do. I will heal here, just because... <laughs> Might as well. Alright, weak spot. Prepare to be pulled! Thank you, DeLoco, for working out the kinks in your weapon. <laughs> so now we can use it. Oh, Lord. Hasta la bye bye, suckers! We did it! I can't believe it. We just broke through the Grand Fortress. You sure know how to break in, in break in a new ship. Now we can finally continue on our search for the other moon crystals. Well, Blua, looks like this is goodbye for now. Yeah, you probably don't want to return anytime soon there, <laughs> Mr. Prince. Ramirez. <laughs> he doesn't look happy. <laughs> oh god. We did it! We escaped from the Grand Fortress twice! Yes, and I'm happy that we're all together again. Some of us are happier than others. Oh, Gilder, I'm so happy. I'll never... Oh my god, I can't... Uh, southern accents are so hard for me for some reason. <laughs> uh, I'll never let you go. Jeez, that's like English. How could you screw that up so bad? Ugh. Out of one prison into the next. What's wrong, Gilder? You guys make a cute couple. I'm very happy for you, Clara. Oh, thank you, Fina. This is too good to be true. This is the happiest day of my life. 
really starting to miss that jail cell in Valua. Well, since we have a new ship, I believe it's time to decide on a captain. Even though this is my ship, I'm not an experienced sailor. I would feel more comfortable with someone else at the helm. I know who I'd cast my vote for. <laughs> Vice, you're the best man for the job. I agree with Aka. I would feel the most comfortable with you as our captain. I know that I just met you, but there's something about you. I think you would make an excellent captain. You're a great sailor, Vice, and a good leader. I think you'd make a great captain. Well, it seems unanimous. Vice, will you accept the responsibility of being captain of the Delphinus? <laughs> Heck yeah, man. I'll do it. I won't let you down. That's what I wanted to hear. Besides, wasn't it your dream to be captain of your own ship someday? Oh yeah, the Delphinus is gonna need a new flag. You're right, Aka. Every crew should have a flag that symbolizes what they stand for. Why don't we just start work? I like how Clara's just hanging on his arm. <laughs> Why don't we just start working on one now? The Delphinus should have a flag as soon as possible. You're right. I think Vice, Aka, and Fina should get together and design a new flag. Being a Prince of Valua, I don't think it's my place to design an air pirate's flag, but I can judge any ideas that you have. What? You want me to design one too? Sure, why not? It'll be fun. Just give it a try. Hey Vice, I want to take a look around the Delphinus. I think we all should. We should split up and check out the ship. If something's wrong with it, it's better to find out now rather than in the heat of battle. Sounds good to me. Break time, everyone. Meet back at the bridge when you're done. Okay. <laughs> wow. Alright, so this part of the game, for me, is a little bit overwhelming. I mean, we just broke out of Valua, and all of a sudden, we have this amazing new ship. The Prince of Valua joined us, and... I don't know. It just seems kind of overwhelming. They just threw all this stuff at you at once. But, you know, you know. So if we come over here, we can get a Moonberry. And over here... skip it up, doop it up. What's this? Is something in here? Marco! What? <laughs> Long time no see, Vice. Marco, what are you doing in here? I heard that the prince's ship was finished and I was and was being prepared for the departure. So I snuck on board and I was planning on escaping Valua in it. Well, I'd heard that the prince was a really nice guy, so I figured he wouldn't kill me if I tried for trying to escape. Well, at least not right away. But I never would have thought that uh, you of all people would get your hands on this ship. At least now I don't have to go looking for you. I'm going to travel with you whether you like it or not. But don't worry, I'll stay out of your way, okay? You're pretty pushy there, kid. Ah, uh, why not? I'll make you my first crew member. Sweet. So he joined our crew as a sailor. Yeah, that's... Ugh. I, I don't know. I mean, it's pretty freaking awesome that we got this ship and all, but... I mean, they just they just really pile on the new stuff. I, I kind of like it when it's a little more gradual, but... Oh, well. So yeah, we're going to be building up a crew now that we have this ship. And such. So, yeah. <laughs> It's gonna be interesting. All right. Um. What do I want to do, 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 do? We'll explore down here first, I guess. Might as well show you everything we have here. There's really only one more thing we need to do on this ship, but uh, I mean, it's pretty interesting to look around anyway. So here we got a bunch of pictures of ships. This crazy <laughs> chandelier and oh my lord. This place is great. It's even got a kitchen. I think I'm gonna like it here. This is this is nuts, okay? This is bigger than any kitchen we've seen, I think, in the entire game. So here's where the cook would be, or bartender, I guess. So can you think of any cooks that we passed along the way that we could uh, recruit? Mm hmm? <laughs> I can think of a couple, actually. 
I mean, it's pretty cool. You get to revisit people you've met before and try to recruit them, but... Uh, I don't know, man. We just escaped from Valu. I, I don't know. Kind of feels like there should be a little bit of what we should be doing next before we start messing around. But, uh, I don't know. <laughs> so this is the deck, and above that door is the bridge. Above that... Oh, yeah, yeah, this is the deck. This is actually... Oh, here's the thing we need to get. A cham! Sweet! For some reason, Cupel's hanging out with me. Because Fina's right here. I, okay. <laughs> These decks will be so clean, you'll be able to eat off them. It's fantastic, Marco. Keep it up there, Swabby. So yeah, um, this deck here is where we're going to be fighting. Uh, just random battles and wanted battles and any kind of battles, really. So, yeah. And these little tubes are for talking to people. It's a talking tube, just like the ones we used on the Albatross. This one's probably connected with the bridge. Hey, Vice, this is Gilder from the bridge. Where you at? Where you at? <laughs> it's like the commercial for the phone. Uh, yeah, but he'll say the same thing no matter what talking tube you talk to. So. Saves on programming. Saves on program. Alrighty. So let's see what else we got. Can't actually explore as much of the ship as you might think. I mean, it's a pretty freaking big ship, so. <laughs> they, didn't, uh, they didn't exactly make it so you can travel throughout the entire thing. But that's okay, because we can see the cool stuff. Amazingly, this place doesn't have a bathroom that's very accessible, so <laughs> that's interesting. Here's the lookouts. This is the lookout tower. All we need now is a competent lookout. Competent lookout. Uh, nope, can't think of one. <laughs> I know of some lookouts, but competent, uh, maybe not. Oh boy. Alright, so that's pretty much all we can look around in the ship. So let's go talk to Mr. Guild. Er. Guild Gilderino. Guild. Guide. 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 Hello, Gilder. Where's Clara? She's not hanging on your arm anymore? Where'd she go? Hey, Vice. Before we set sail, there was something I wanted to talk to you about. Oh, yeah? I, oh, I was talking to the steering wheel. Whoops. Hey there, Vice. Have you finished looking around the ship? There's something that I need to talk, you, talk to you about. I'm done, yes. I've pretty much seen everything that I wanted to do. Two. <laughs> what did you want to talk to me about? Well, actually... Well, actually... What does that mean? Oh, no! I'm leaving. I'm going to head back and meet up with the Claudia. Aw, oh, man! What? <laughs> I figure this is probably my only chance to escape from Clara. I don't think I'm ready to settle down just yet. Sure you are. You guys make a really cute couple. <laughs> He's like, ah, uh, what? Vice, don't even joke about that. <laughs> all right, all right. Sorry, I couldn't resist. But seriously, we're all going to miss you. Thanks. Before I go, I have three pieces of advice for you. First, you'll need to get a crew. A crew? Yes. With a ship this size, you'll need a lot of crew members to take care of specific duties. Get a good watchman, a cook, a gunner. I'm sure there are plenty of skilled sailors out there that will join the fight against Valua. If you run into anyone who can help you, bring them aboard. The more crew members that you have, the better your ship will operate. Second, you'll need a base. You'll need a place to repair your ship, and your crew will need warm beds and warm meals every once in a while. Your father has his own base, right? You said it was on Pirate Isle? Well, you'll need your own headquarters as well. What about that deserted island that I found you on? I believe it's called uh, Crescent Isle? That island looks just about right. Why don't you head back there? 
and most of all, no matter what happens, never give up. I don't know if you've realized it yet, but you've accomplished a lot so far, especially for someone your age. You escaped from the Baluan Coliseum, crossed South Ocean, found Dackett's treasure, defeated three of the admirals of the Armada, took two of the Gigas out of commission, and escaped from the Grand Fortress. Twice! For some reason, everyone seems to follow you, myself included, even though you're a little crazy. Actually, it's because no matter what happens, you never give up. Anytime something stands in your way, you never let it stop you. Your crew knows that you will always do everything in your power to protect them. I can tell by the way they all look at you. And on this bridge with this ship, you're gonna set sail or you're gonna sail around the world. That's what I, that's my dream! That's my dream! You'll probably run into things ten times more dangerous than you already faced. No matter what happens, don't give up. If you follow my advice, you'll accomplish things that you've never even dreamed of. Thank you. Oh, Gilda, where are you? Oh no, it's Clara! Sorry, Vice, I can't stay and chat any longer. She'll catch me and it's, it'll be all over. See ya. So long, Vice. I hope to see you again someday. I usually just sail around in search of fun, but the time I spent sailing with you was probably the most fun I've ever had. Keep it up, kid. See you later, Gilder. Thanks for everything, Gilder. What? <laughs> she came out of the door he went in? Oh, Vice. Hey, Vice, why did Gilder run off in such a hurry like that? Uh, um, he said that he was, um, going back to the Claudia. What? Well, I've got to go catch him right away. He's not getting away from me that easily. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it looks like Gilder's going to need a lot more luck than me. I can't believe it. I'm finally the captain of my own ship. And the Delphinus is quite a ship. Alright, let's go. Full speed to Crescent Isle. No. Alright, alright, I can deal with that. <laughs> okay. Whew. That was a lot of freaking stuff happened just there. <laughs> In truth, the Delphinus is not yet been completed. The hull hasn't been fully reinforced yet, so it would probably be impossible to fly through stone reefs at this point. And the engine's output settings haven't been pr properly adjusted yet either, so we probably won't be able to fly through sky rifts. What? It, engine? It, <laughs> it says engine is talking. Look at that. Oh my god. However, if we can find some way to fix the hull and the engine... I'm sure the sky rifts and stone reefs would pose no problem for this ship. Yep, so we are actually a little bit gimper than Drachma's <laughs> Little Jack right now. Uh, what was I doing? So yeah, we can't fly through stone reefs or these uh, sky rifts like their, the other Valuan ships were able to do when they attacked Nasser. So what we're going to do is... Well... We're actually going to turn in our Moonfish really quick, I think. Oh, there's a Black Pirate. Hello there, Mr. Doc. How you doing? Man, we have so many Moonfish. Oh my god. We got a uh, female armor. A white map. 30 Ramuhai fish and 30 gruel. Eh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god! Your noodle head evolved into... A super noodle head! I don't know, he looks different. Yep, he evolved again. Oh boy. Warrior's heart. Ancient bracer. Magilix idol. And that's it. <laughs> Thank you for bringing these fish for me. Whoa. M Maria! 
<laughs> For you, Maria, it's no problem at all. Oh my god, look at that thing. <laughs> it's so freaky. If it's Moonfish you want, just leave it up to me. I'm gonna bring you more than you'll ever need. Thank you. Aww. Thank you, Vice. Maria is slowly becoming herself again. I owe everything to you. I don't know what to say. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I really do. Aw, oh, come on, Doc. Don't get all teary-eyed on me. I'll just keep gathering fish to make her happy, okay? You know, you remind me of a man I used to work with. He was a lot like you. Honest, kind, the kind of guy everyone likes. Well, he was a little more refined than you, though. His name was Ramirez. What? I hear that he's been promoted to the position of Admiral in the Blue and Armada now. <gasps> Ramirez? Uh huh? You guys know him? Well, more or less. Doc, can you tell us what you know about Ramirez? Uh, sure. Dude, Ramirez, what? It was a long time ago, back when I was still working for Admiral Mendoza in the Valuan Armada. We were sailing around mid-ocean when we encountered a ship of the likes we had never seen before. And aboard that ship was Ramirez. He was an odd fellow, to say the least. I distinctly remember the clothes he had on, very unusual. But Ramirez turned out to be as intelligent as he was good with a blade. Admiral Mendoza grew to like him rather quickly. Admiral Mendoza saw that he had potential and began training him to become an officer of the Valuan Armada. He had high hopes for him. We were all surprised at how little he knew about the world, but he was so honest and so sincere that everyone loved him. And I too was glad to have a crewmate who seemed trustworthy. Someone I could call a friend. Ramirez, from this day forth you are a member of the Valuan Armada. Hold your chin high. Thank you very much for all your help, my lord. Way to go, Ramirez. I always knew you'd make the cut. Thank you too, Doctor. Oh, come on. You can stop calling me Doctor all the time. Everyone just calls me Doc. <laughs> you two never change. He sounds like... Uh, Patrick... Uh, Star Trek dude. Oh my god, I don't remember his name. That's gonna haunt me. I just want to let you know that you two are like sons to me. The sons I never had. I hope I can count on you to be as my right-hand men. My lord, you're being a little greedy there, aren't you? My lord already has two lovely daughters for his own, and yet he wants sons too? <laughs> That's not what I mean. All I'm saying is that you two can count on me to, as you would a father. My lord, thank you. You do not know how much that means to me. Ramirez seemed like a pretty nice guy. Hmm. Who would have thought that Doc and Ramirez used to be buddies? Pretty much brothers, actually. It's pretty nuts. Alright, Maria. I hear you. I'll be there in a second. Vice, please feel free to come back and visit when you want. I'm sure Maria and her little feathered friend will be happy to see you. But don't forget to bring more Moonfish with you. I'm sure there's plenty more still out there somewhere. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure there is, too. Okay, so let's use all this junk we just got. I don't even remember what half of it is. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Uh, the white map actually decreases random battle encounters, but see, only Vice can use it, so... It it doesn't completely remove random encounters, it just reduces the chance, I guess. It's okay, I guess. Um... What else did we get? We got an Ancient Bracer, didn't we? So that would decrease... Oh, it increases, uh... Attack power, defense, hit, and dodge. But it can only be used right now by Vice or Aka, so uh, I don't know. I'd lose a lot of attack power, but I'd gain a lot of defense dodge. Ugh. You know what? I'm not gonna put it on. Uh, but actually, Enrique, I want him to have a Warrior's Heart. It allows him to generate more spirit during battle, which is actually really good for him because he typically 
won't get the chance to attack in a lot of boss battles because he'll be doing something else that I'll show you in just a second. And uh, what else did we get? We got something. Oh yeah, we got female armor. I don't think that's better than... Yeah, that's not better than maiden armor. Okay. We've been saving those moonfish for quite a while, so... I'm not really surprised. Um... What else did we get? Oh yeah, we got this idol. One of three lost sacred figurines that Pinta is looking for. If you remember Pinta, he's that little chubby dude from uh, Sailor's Island. He was in the uh, weapon shop. And then we got these fish that you can use to cook things, but we don't have a chef, so yeah. Increase agility by one. Increase MP by one. Uh, we'll give that to Fina, I guess. And Will... Fina. Okay. Oh, we have maybe even more. Uh, power. Vice. Is that it? Three chams. Holy moly. Okay. Oh my lord. <laughs> Look at all this stuff. Okay, quick. Uh, see, I don't really know who to use quick on. Because I'd, I'd like all my people to be kind of fast. Especially Fina... I'm gonna use it on Fina and Vice. Okay, I think we're we're done with that nonsense. Okay, so now that we sold all our moonfish, I mean, gave them away, we're gonna actually stop by Sailor's Island to do a few things. A few very delicious things. First off, we're gonna go collect our bounty for Mr. Gordo. Vice the Valiant? Of course I've heard of you. Everyone's been talking about your exploits. Welcome to the Sailor's Guild. Sweet. We're Vice the Valiant now. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> okay. Uh, wait, I, wait, uh, what? Wait, did I already get my Gordo? I'm a little bit confused. When did I do that? Oh, I don't remember. Wait, just a minute. I almost forgot. Here, this came addressed to you. Oh no, not another black spot. It's a message from the Angel of Death. Sounds like you're in trouble. Better watch your back out there. Thank you. Alright, so it looks like Piastol wants to <laughs> challenge us to a rematch. That's not cool at all. Oh well. I'm sure we'll whoop her butt again. <laughs> Alright, uh, speaking of chefs that I need... Hello, Polly. So, you kids are recruiting new members for your crew? Well, you've come to the right place. They don't call it Sailor's Island for nothing. I'm sure you'll find plenty of candidates for your crew. Actually, Polly, we were wondering if maybe you'd like to join our crew. We'd be delighted if you'd come with us and be our cook. You're probably the best cook we know. What? You want me to be your cook? This is a joke, right? Well, ever since the sailor that I married got shipwrecked during one of his voyages to the east, I've had to make ends meet by running this tavern with only my daughter Anne. I can't suddenly pick up and leave. Why not, Mother? Go ahead and go! You've always said, uh, Mother, that you wished you had a ship that you could go and look for Father. I don't even remember my father's face. You know? If anything, do it for me. Go find my father and bring him home. Don't worry about the tavern. I can take care of things while you're away. Anne. Thank you, Anne. I will find your father and bring him home to show, show him what a wonderful daughter he has. I promise. Well, I guess that's it, then. If you were serious about your offer, I'd be happy to join your crew. Leave the ship's galley to me. I'll cook up lots of tasty food loaded with nutrition. Blah! Nutrition! Blah! It's just another word for... Vegetables. It's just another word for vegetables. Don't worry about the tavern. I can take care of it. I don't have 20 years of experience as a tavern keep, but I do have nearly 10 years experience as a waitress. I know everything I need to know to run the place. I... Okay. I trust you. So we just took Polly <laughs> from our daughter, which is cool. And, uh... Oh, remember this guy? The Mr. If you don't have money, don't talk to me. Let's talk to him. 
You're asking me to join your ship's crew? I only join crews when the owner of the ship is willing to pay me what my skills are real, really worth. I want 10,000 gold. Give me the money and I'll come aboard. Okay. 10,000 gold, you say? Alright, I'll pay. It's just this random guy. Sure, here's some money. <laughs> Good, we have a deal then. So we got Lawrence. He's a helmsman. Very cool. So, um, I'll explain what these crew members do a little bit later. It's a little bit, uh... <laughs> it's a little bit involved, so... I don't want to do that right now. And look! We moved up on the chart! We're right below the Angel of Death. Gilder's first and Dine is second. That's pretty crazy. I'm surprised how far up Dine is. I mean, <laughs> considering what we've done. I'm, what the heck have those guys done that's, like, way better? Anyway, um... Oh, boy. You know, we'll do one more thing. One more thing. Uh, just one more. That's all. Scooby dip dip dip. Oh, hello. Look, look at this, this purple guy right here. Look at, this, look at this purple guy. I'm not going to talk to him because that is actually one of the wanted battles, and we'll do that uh, probably next time, but... Yeah, I don't want to start that right now. <laughs> He's pretty rough. Oh, hello, Pinta. So, you finally have your very own ship, huh? Maybe it'll make things easier for both of us if I just go with you. Okay. He joined as a, je a delegate. <laughs> he basically just invited himself. Okay, Pinta. Alright, so... Uh, through the shocking image of this weapons seller man, I'm gonna end this part here, and then... Um, between episodes, I'm gonna gear up. I'm gonna go here and to the ship place, and to the item place. Basically just stock up on all manner of items, and I'll, um, next time we'll fight that wanted battle right outside. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time.